All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the April 13, 2020 uh, Selectman's meeting uh, via remote participation. I uh, have everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance if you can. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all again. Um, hope all that are watching are safe. Uh, that is certainly our wish from the Board of Selectmen to all of you. Um, first will be discussion of possible postponement of town meeting. And I do have a note that um, uh, many towns are postponing their own town meetings indefinitely with a date to be determined at a later date, considering that the notification period to town residents was reduced during the most recent charter update. I would recommend the same, that the board of selectmen vote to postpone the 2020 special and annual town meeting scheduled for May 18th, 2020 to a date, future date to be determined. Although the administration that is uh, Rick and the finance team and the finance committee would be, would be prepared for a May 18th, 2020 meeting, to have to make a late decision should this crisis not diminish would not be conducive to the legal scheduling the requirements of the finance committee and town clerk. So I just wanted to uh, bring that to everyone's attention. Discussion. And, and I do have, um, I've been corresponding with um, the town moderator and um, he's not ready to have a meeting yet because he doesn't know what he's doing with the, um, about the quorum he's got legislation that's being worked on Sean Riley and things like that. So um, we, we wouldn't even vote, I guess, tonight, but just, um, or we, if we do it, it'd be um, vote to postpone again, the 2020 special and annual town meeting scheduled for May 18, 2020 to future date to be determined. So we may want to take that vote. And, and again, we can discuss it um at our next meeting um but again any comment from anyone please did everybody lose me <laughs> no, I'm, I'm... okay i just i want to i this is all again this stuff is still all new to us i want to just make sure i don't miss anything so can we get an update from the moderator at the next meeting or um, Sean said that he, he would talk to me. He just wasn't ready yet. I mean, I, I certainly could do that. Um, Kevin. Okay. Can we just take a, a vote to postpone the meeting? Do we need to have a date tonight? No, I think Jim, the motion would be like I read to, um, vote to postpone the 2020, um, special and annual town meetings. Scheduled for May 18, 2020, to future date to be to be determined. I'm good with that. All right, all right, Jimmy. I'll, I'll, Jimmy, you making that motion? I'll make that motion. Okay, I'll second it. All right. Any further discussion by the members? Um, one thing: um, the warrant. I, I think it was opened and closed. Are we going to open it back up again in case, um, obviously? There may be some issues with spending, um, you know, financial stuff coming in, maybe more articles that need to be presented. I don't really want to open the warm it back up at a certain date, maybe after my, my suggestion is once we find out what the meeting is going to be, maybe open the warrant up for a week or so, just in case there's any last minute articles that may have come down the pike. And can you believe that the warrant was open and closed? Um, I'm pretty sure. because We haven't news. officially, yeah, we open. motioned to close it as of March 31st. I believe. Yeah, I, I think you're right, Tim. Yeah. So it's closed right now. Um, you never know what's going to happen. There might be some more articles that we need to, to throw in there, you know, because it, it, say town meeting doesn't get happen until June or July. There may be some articles, uh, you know, end of year spending and stuff like that. So I would just leave that open that we can open the warrant. You know, and that would be a board decision anyways. But that's so. Okay, any further discussion? It seems fair that we do that. 
um, if we're going to postpone it, it's, it would just seem fair that we do open it just to cover all bases. That would just that would just be a meeting, a, a motion from our board at some point later on. We can we'll have that discussion whether we need to open it, and if so, just open it for a short window just to get. Okay, very good. So, so, but we're all set with the um, with the vote that um, Jim just put up and Kevin seconded. So I'm going to do a roll call vote just on that. Um, Tim Chapin. Yep. Good. All right. Um, Ken. Yes. Jim. Yes. Kevin. Yes. And the the chairman is yes. So that's uh, unanimous. All right, let's see. Um, discussion and possible vote to offer extension of contract to town manager Richard LaFond. We um, did that in executive session. Um, we voted to offer him the contract extension. He accepted, as a matter of fact, we have, um, um, you probably don't have it in front of you, so. Uh, but, Rick will have this at town hall, um, the agreement. And he he will sign it and, and we all have to take, uh, get some time to go in and sign it. Um, uh, so all the selectmen have to sign it. So uh, any questions on that? Because we did vote on an executive session last week. Um, John Clifford, town council, I, I'd ask you, um, we've already agreed to this. Do we have to read um, the agreement or? No, you, you're not obligated to read it. I mean, you can make copies available on the town website once it's signed, it becomes a public document. That's probably the best way to distribute it. Okay, everybody okay with that? Can, can, you, just, can you just read what we voted? I mean, what was the, what was the actual motion? Because I thought it was if he doesn't have a job, it was a vote, and if he, if he does have another job, it was another vote. Maybe I'm maybe I'm incorrect in that, but I don't have. I mean, can I? We can delay this, but and I, I have to say, I don't have that right in front of me. I I do recall a discussion um, at, at this point. Um, I don't believe, I believe Mr. LaFond is, is, intends to remain in the employee of the town in some capacity. Um, he hasn't found any other employment or he hasn't signed an agreement to that effect. So um, I, under, I do recall what there was a contingent vote to, to move forward and possibly consider another interim if that was Mr. LaFond were not available. But this agreement was drawn up um, based on the fact that he would be available at this point. And, and, and what's the time frame on this? What's the time frame on this? Uh, if we're signing the contract, is it a time frame or we can try to get it after? It's a, it, if I remember, it's at will, Ken, and that it, it, we, it, at least 14 days. I can, okay. I can read the applicable portion if the board would like. I'd appreciate that, uh, John. Thank you. Mr. LaFond shall continue to serve as town manager as an employee at will until such time as he resigns or is given notice of termination of this agreement by the Board of Selectmen. The Board and Mr. LaFond each agree that they shall give a minimum of 14 days notice to the other in the case of resignation by Mr. LaFond or notice of termination of this agreement by the Board of Selectmen. I think that's consistent with what the board's discussion was. Now, do, John, does this take effect now or after the April 30th um, deadline of his last? It's it's added on to the end of his agreement, his current agreement. Added on after April 30th? Correct. If needed? Correct. Any further discussion, gentlemen? Again, I don't want to miss anything, so. 
Yeah. So, Tom, this will be a town hall for our, our signatures this week? That is correct. Thank you. And uh, that is the, the same way to pay he's receiving now with no added benefit, correct? That is correct. The, the agreement explicitly states that he doesn't accrue sick vacation or personal leave. He does get paid for holidays um, while he's working. Um, but there are there's no other benefits that he would accrue. Is this is an addition on on his separation agreement or is this separate from the separation agreement? Um, it actually amends the separation agreement, which called for his um, the end of his employment to be April 30th. So this amends it to the degree that allows him to move forward on an at will basis um, until either the board makes a decision to the contrary or Mr. LaFawn finds other employment. But both parties are required to give the other 14 days notice. So with a 14 day notice and it being part of the separation agreement, is that now kick in from now moving forward or is the 14 day thing only after April 30th? 14 day notice should apply now. I mean, he's actually got a notice provision in the separation agreement as well. Is the same for 14 days or? Um, I don't believe it was 14 days. I think that was supposed to be 30 days in the separation agreement, but okay. we're low enough to 14. Well, we're, we're on the 14 days at this point anyway, right? The 30 days I think is moved right now. Yeah. Okay. Now, will this delay his severance that's supposed to start on April 30th? Um, the payment of any benefits that he would have gotten had he worked through April 30th is not affected by this agreement. I think the only severance in question under that agreement was really just unpaid vacation, et cetera. I don't think there was any other severance beyond that. I have no, I have no problem with it. You know, because it, cause it supersedes the other the other one. So, you know, yeah. we can at, at every meeting at every meeting. I would suggest on the agenda we make that a topic so we can discuss it. I agree with you, Ken. Okay. Everybody, all set with that? Mm -hmm. Seems like everybody is. All right, uh, third item on the agenda is discussion and possible vote to accept section 10 of chapter 53 of the acts of 2020 to extend the due date for fourth quarter real estate and personal property taxes from May 1, 2020 to June 1st, what, excuse me, 2020 to extend the due date for property tax exemption applications from April 1st, 2020 to June 1st, 2020. Tom, Tom, can I just bring? Can I just go back one second? We, John, we go back we actually, to going yes, back, back to, to the last. If yeah. I could, I didn't want to yeah. interrupt you. While you were on uh, but John, don't we actually have to take a vote on that in 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 open session? I believe you actually okay. voted. You voted the terms last week, so okay. All right. before we actually wrote them out. So okay, you could That's you could enough. vote it again tonight, but it, um, I think this is really. The document is pretty simple, just encapsulates the, the basic terms that you actually voted at your last meeting. That, that was a unanimous vote. I too, I believe if the board, correct me if I'm wrong, board members, but I'm pretty sure that was a unanimous vote. That was correct. Okay. All right, Tom, sorry to interrupt you. Thank you. That's a no, Ken, I, I don't mind, <laughs> believe me, I don't mind a bit. Um, again, so uh, discussion on um, vote to extend um, you know, fourth quarter real estate and personal property taxes for May 1st, 2020 to June 20, June 1st, 2020, extend the date, date for property tax exemption applications from April 1st, 2020 to June 1st, 2020. Uh, the only part I'm concerned about may, might be the um, property tax exemptions, but again, this is, this is for discussion and this will probably, um, if we don't vote on it tonight, it'll be discussed at our next meeting. So, 
Um, I know you're an expert in this regard. Can you just dumb it down a little bit for us? Just explain to us. This is so they don't actually don't have to pay their taxes, residents, or is it maybe I'm because the, the, next, the, next the next question you're going to bring up is whether they don't have to pay fines or interest, right? That's the next thing we're going to vote on. But that, that is, is correct, yes. The next okay. item on the agenda will be, um, yeah, waive any interest. That's that's the next item. This one is just to extend the due date for fourth quarter real estate again from May 1st to June 1st of 2020. So people whose taxes were due on May now, now have to June to pay it? If we voted that, it, they okay. would have to June. And I, one of the questions that I've, I've, um, I've got to find out, and I don't know the answer, um, if, if the tax bills have been sent out and sent out with it, as a matter of fact, they were, because we, we're, um, this would be the last bill of, um, what it, I'm, I'm, geez, I'm trying to think. Anybody help, help me out if you want. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm just assuming if, if bills have been sent, um, I, I don't know how we can um, extend it to uh, June 20th, but I'm, I'm not positive. I'd, I'd have to uh, talk to the treasurer. We want to get some input from the treasurer and then look at it at next meeting uh yep I, I, well i certainly will i think i think it's uh you know a good point but I, like i said i just wanted to um you know bring it up for again discussion and possible vote, but. mr chairman if i could weigh in because this is a discussion that's come up in a couple of our other clients mm -hmm. Please do, John. Thank you. Um, I think a, a number of communities are tabling this until for at least a couple of weeks. Um, one of the concerns is that a lot of your property taxes paid by banks that are already holding the money in escrow for your taxpayers. And they're kind of waiting to make a determination whether they're going to, they're going to extend the payment deadlines, and then it's a separate vote to decide whether you're going to waive penalties and interest. But I think the idea is to possibly hold off on making any firm decisions and at least try to get those bank payments in. And, and if, if, it, if you determine at that point that there's a lot of your residents have hardship and, and need that kind of relief, you can make the decision then. But it, it probably makes sense on a number of levels to table it for at least a couple of weeks. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. I, again, more comment? Anyone? I'd be, I'd be in favor of tabling it and bringing it up in another meeting. Okay, we don't need a motion. So, um, is everyone okay with that? Um, again, I, I just so I can uh, everybody say on it. Uh, I'm in favor of that, of tabling it. Uh, Tim? I'm good with that. All right. <laughs> They're getting with these computers. Uh, <laughs> Ken? Ken? Um, yeah, I know that uh, taxes make the, the town operate. Um, so I am, I'm willing to, you know, wait a little while to, you know, to see what happens. You know, a lot of people, um, mo most of it, it won't be affected because it's an escrow, but there are some people that still pay, come down and pay their taxes. So. Uh, I'm willing to look at it in a, in a week or two. Absolutely. All right, Jim, you're okay with it? I can. Uh, I'm okay. All right, I can't read what your sign says. So. Ah, that's people are texting me, and I'm on my phone, so I'm telling them, don't text me. Oh, good for you. Good for you, Jim. <laughs> it's Kevin, 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 Jim, just ignore okay. the text. Kevin, you're okay with that? Yeah, right? but it fills up the screen. <laughs> just ignore the text, Jim. There you go. Yeah, Kevin. but it fills up the screen. <laughs> okay, Kevin, you're all set with that. We're tabling it, right? Yes, thank I am. You. All right, thanks. Okay, uh, discussion impossible vote to accept section 11 of chapter 53 of Acts of 2020 to waive in the interest and any other penalties for late payment of any excise tax, water usage, or sewage usage bill with a due date 
on or after March 10, 2020, if payment is made after its respective due date, but before June 30th, 2020. Um, I'm, I'm in favor of that, uh, waiving those fees right now. People have, if they have to choose between uh, paying a late fee or um, they shouldn't have to sweat it, you know, if, they, if they're going to be late, they shouldn't, they should be more worried about, concerned about, uh, you know, putting food on their tables. And I just want to note too, because uh, people don't know this probably at home, but um, a couple of us are out without power right now. So I just, just in case, you know, just so people know, you know, I think Jim and I still have no power. So, um, I'm by candlelight. Yeah. So, you know, just to let you know. So. Right, and Kevin doesn't have any power either, right, Kevin? Correct. No power. Okay. Um, Tim and I do. Um, so, and, and apparently John does. <laughs> I'm with uh, I'm with Ken on this one too. I think I'm in favor of this. Okay. The only question I have is: Has any excise tax, water usage, or sewer usage bill with due date on or after March 10th? I'm not seeing real estate. I mean, it shouldn't, wouldn't that be included? Is that not in that section? Uh, I'm, reading the, I'm reading that article four. It says any excise tax, water usage, or sewage usage. Right. Hold on. After March, on or after March 10th. Hold on. I'm, I'm, uh, when the state of emergency started. Hold on. All right, this is, uh, this is from the Department of Local Services, section 11. Includes a local option to waive interest and other penalty for late payment of any, it does, it says any excise tax, betterment assessment, or apportionment thereof, water rate or annual sewer use or other charge added to a tax for any payments with a due date on or after March 10, 2020, where payment is made after its respective due date, but before June 30th, 2020. The, this Third local option is also exercised in the same manner described in section 7-A of this bulletin. This section allows the waiver of interest and penalties regarding late payments of bills with due date of March 20th or after, when such bills are paid late but paid on or before June 30th, 2020. This section does not permit waiver of interest and penalties regarding bills with due dates before March 10th of 2020, or if the bill is not paid by June 30th, 2020. Section 11 also provides that the city of town shall not terminate an essential service of a resident, including but not limited to water, trash, collection, electricity for non-payment of taxes or fees with due dates on or after March 20th, if paid on or before June 30th, 2020, if the inability to pay resulted from circumstances related to the outbreak of COVID-19 or the governor's March 10th, 2020 declaration of a state of emergency. So that that's the long version. So uh, I'm in favor of waiving the the penalties and interest, and it has to be a vote of the selectmen. So I'm in favor of that. There's a, uh, people have got their hands full with everything else going on. Some people are out of work. Uh, we don't need to add any more pressure to them. Give them a little bit of a break, I think. All right. So Jim, it's the vote to accept. Uh, section 11 of chapter 53 of the acts of 2020 to waive interest in any other penalties for a late payment of any excise tax water usage or sewer, or sewer usage bill with a due date on or before on or after March 10th 2020 if payment is made after its respective due date but before June 30th 2020 that's your motion that's my motion all right can I have a second I'll, I'll second it all right Kevin thank you any further discussion? All right, I'll do a roll call vote just so just so I have it. Um, the chairman is in favor. Uh, Tim? Yes. Yes. Uh, Ken? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jim? Yes. All right. Kevin is a yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that is unanimous.
Uh, thank you for that. All right. Do, 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 do. Next is the um, town manager's report. Uh, let's see. And I have I have all that. I'm going to uh, read it to you. So after I'm finished, we'll have discussion. Is that okay with everyone? Thank you. Um, uh, following is meant to be a general update of activities of the town manager and staff. Um, in addition to the update of information below from last week, please be informed of the following. Senior center roof. After the procurement process, the roof replacement project began this past Monday. Per the contract, the job is to be completed within three weeks, barring weather or other factors beyond control of the contractor. I know that I'm looking down, so I just hope that everybody appreciates that I'm, I have to look down to read, so. Uh, police operation and management analysis. On Wednesday, April 1st, Ken, Kevin, and Rick LaFawn spoke to MRI President Alan Gould regarding the ongoing project. After discussing the status and process going forward, Mr. Gould agreed that an email update on the status of the project would be sent to us every two weeks or so. The conversation was amicable and productive. Uh, in recognition of these extraordinary times, please see the following actions and concerns. Um, and this is, Ken, we sort of mentioned some of this last week, but municipal finance, the current public health crisis is having far reaching and possibly severe fiscal implications for cities and towns. My financial officers group discussed uh, following concerns uh, this morning. I believe that was last, last week. State of current FY21 budget planning, closing uh, final budget gap, possible reduction in state aid over current, the current projection. This could create significant hardship that may require consideration of reserves and reductions in force. Capital budget planning. My goal is to forego any capital expenditures in FY 2021, other than essential public safety requirements with yet another very healthy free cash certification. My target is approximately $1 million to appropriate to stabilization. Regional school implications, potential requirements over and above the current scheduled assessment for FY 2020 for FY 2021 due to reduction in state aid to regional districts, extended tax deadlines, penalties and interest waivers, which we talked about, what that has to do with cash flow implications, revenue reduction and staffing challenges. Recommendation as to possible delay of annual special town meetings. Uh, again, we've talked about that. I am speaking to the finance committee chair and moderator this week to discuss this matter due to our later town meeting. Uh, date a decision is not yet necessary, but should be to be considered. This has financial planning and administrative implications that need to be assessed. All of the above will continue to be discussed multiple times this week, depending on direction that we receive from the state this week. It may be a consideration to consider bargaining possible pay freezes and furloughs. Business assistance relations. We have notified all businesses for, of the small business assistance program promulgated by the state. Um, as you saw over the weekend, all on-premises alcohol licenses have been notified of the legislation passed on Friday, allowing the sale for sale of beer and wine with takeout. Uh, task, uh, task force, our collective group managing this crisis continues to meet the number of matter the number of matter and details necessary to planning are married and some are not suitable for this document. Um, listing of Abington st statistics. Marty and I have had many discussions pertaining to whether or not to show the town specific positive test online. The consideration initially was, do the relatively low number of positives per the population of Abington create a dismissive attitude by the public? The state lists these positive tests daily per county and the town borders are not relevant to the spread. The Department of Public Health advised cities and towns not to publish this information for the same reasons above and not to risk any possible invasion of privacy. 
First responders are notified of the address of any individual who tests positive. <coughs> However, most towns are now publishing the number of residents within their town that have tested positive, and we simply do not want to create a problem that we don't need uh, distracting us. Um, uh, distracting us from the management. <coughs> so that was uh, Rick's report manager's report that I, I did ask him to uh, put together for me uh, in addition to the one that we had gotten last week that we didn't read on air last week. So. <coughs> Comments, questions, I believe, concerns? I believe we're posting the uh, number of positives on the website now. Um, I checked it today. It seems to be changing every day. So. Okay. Anything else on um, um, Tom on the uh, hopefully they put a top up on the on the senior center roof with all this rain and wind. Uh, hopefully, it means wind, but I don't know. But, um, uh, let's hope that goes well. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they did. Hopefully, they put up something. Um, and, they they uh, must be they must be in they must. Be following the weather too. I'm assuming. Hopefully, it didn't blow off too, with all this wind that no, seems that it's died down now. But uh, not here. It isn't. I don't know. No. Okay. Um, I'm on the other side of town. The big, the big, the metropolis of Abington. I'm away on the other side of town. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, the second article, the, the second um, thing you spoke about was the police management um, study. And uh, I think if you look on on the computer online. I believe that the, we actually videotaped the meeting and I think it's, it's up and running. If anybody wants to, um, you know, you think the selectman meetings are boring. This is probably going to be a little boring too, but um, Kevin and myself um, attended and um, the town manager attended and we did have one person in the audience that the police chief was there to just, um, I mean, he didn't speak, but he was there just to, as, a, as a guest. Um, I think it went well. I think a lot of things were cleared up. We just wanted to, basically just to get an update you know, and let them know that we had some concerns as far as um, just to be kept in the loop because as far as the continuity goes, um, if the town manager leaves, um, we feel the subcommittee should kind of, you know, might have to jump in. So we just wanted to be kept in the loop. That's basically it. Kevin, do you have anything else to say on that? Or? Yeah, I'll just echo what you said. Uh, I think it went well. Um, Mr. Gould um, was receptive. He gave us a good amount of information. If you guys want to watch the video, it's on YouTube. Um, and I'm looking forward to the the update. We should be getting it hopefully any day now. I I will say that he, he seemed way more very 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 qualified. He's been a police chief in other towns. He's done a lot of these studies. And um, when before we picked him, and Kevin and I actually looked at some of the studies and um, this MRI, the company that's doing it, they they did a lot of a lot of good work in some other towns. So I'm happy with the progress that's being made. I'm glad we're in the loop now. So it was, it was a good meeting. Definitely. Okay, any other comments on any uh, anything from Rick? Um, just, um, Ken, just, I just wanted to, I'm sorry, Ken, just one second. I want to tell you, I, I reached out to Rick on um, the FY20 budget, and especially the uh, Board of Selectmen, uh, or, you know, his budget, and I, uh, unfortunately, I haven't heard back from him, um, and I, I did a little later before I even started this meeting, I haven't heard back from him, so again, that's more information that I will give it our next um, meeting. Just um, a, a lot of a lot of things happen uh, with this virus, and uh, a lot of things behind the scenes and day to day. It's like um, you know, there's moving pieces, a lot of moving pieces. I just want to commend um, all the department heads and um, all the members. Uh, you know, the uh, police and fire. And I, I I don't want to name them all because it would, I'd, I'd miss somebody, but the highway and I, I have a feeling I heard that uh, even the weather's not helping things. So it's, it's, uh, there's so much things going on and they do a lot of things behind the scene. And uh, no matter what you do, you're not going to win on Facebook. People are going to say this and that, but I think they do a, a, a pretty well job, a pretty good job in these unprecedented times. So that's all. Yeah, no, and I agree. I think, uh, I think they're all, all our departments, um, no matter what they are that it seems to me, they're all pulling together. They're all working uh, for the good of Abington, which is uh, what we would expect. But also they have gone 
uh, above and beyond during this uh, crisis, uh, above and beyond what we uh, do expect and what I guess what we should expect. Uh, just kudos to, to everybody, um, to all the departments. I, I, I just think it's awesome. Any other comments on, on Rick's um, statement? Um, I mean, for the police, the police subcommittee, we, we don't have any other meetings posted right now. I don't know if we will in the future, but, you know, when the time comes, I think we're going to have to cross that bridge as far as, you know, opening it to the public and whether we go into the Zoom app or whatnot. But, um, you know, things will have to work out moving forward. And okay. uh, I'm going to jump in on that too. It's like wh when we talk to uh, the people that are doing the study, we really aren't asking for any information. We're just trying to get updates, you know? So, so those meetings are, might be a little boring to some, but we're just trying to make sure that, that it's going. And we, we both offered our help and said, if there's anything they need without being involved, if, if there's anything they need, uh, would, would help them out, you know? And, and, you will recall that there's some extra funds in there, so we actually want to be updated so that in case uh, we feel that, that they, something else might come up that they need to look into or um, something that uh, we feel they didn't, what was in the uh, request for proposal that they're not working on, we, we, we have the option to add that to the study. So, um, But we're not really going to know anything about the study until it's done. And then that's a very good point that you do... Um there's still just a little bit money if there is other stuff um, that uh, MRI has to get done. I, I think that's uh, I think that's excellent that you brought that uh, point up and, and um, hopefully the public will certainly pay attention to that. So. Okay, if there's nothing else, um, I'll, I'll need a motion to go into executive session. Uh, to oh. Sorry, John, one thing before that. When's our next meeting? Are we doing next week or the 27th or? No, I think, we're, I thought we said at our last meeting, correct me if I'm wrong, we don't have it all written down. I thought, weren't we gonna meet the 20th again? Yeah, this is the off week, right? We're, we're right. gonna meet next week. So let's, let's at least meet the 20th and then We'll go from there for further meetings. Okay. Okay. Good by me. All right. <clears throat> so again, um, I need to go ahead. Yep. Is uh, is Monday a holiday? Next Monday a holiday? Maybe we should. Uh, are we going to be able to do that, or should we do Tuesday or? Next. Is it Patriots Day. Oh, state holiday. Yeah. I mean, you can still meet on a holiday, but I mean, to be anyway, honest, any objections? right? I mean, may I suggest that we post a meeting for Tuesday? But if the subcommittee doesn't have anything to give the full board, maybe we should wait till the following Monday. The, the, you know, the um, the uh, contract subcommittee, I should say. So we can decide uh, when uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I'll uh, we'll report back and find out whether it's needed, whether we need the meeting next week. <coughs> Does that sound good? I mean, obviously, we, if we post and something comes up, oh, we better definitely meet, you know, but if, if, if the contract so committee doesn't have any really thing to go yet, or um, if nothing earth shattering has happened in town, uh, then maybe we can just wait till the following Monday. Well, based on some of the things that we discussed tonight, which is, um, postponement of town meeting and things like that. Um, if you, if you have, obviously, obviously, if you have more on that, then we should meet. But. Okay. So are we meeting Monday? If we were going to meet, and, and you know, I have time to post it, are we going to meet Monday the 20th or Tuesday the 21st? Tuesday the 21st. Tuesday the 21st. I'm okay. fine with either one. I'm fine with either one. I would prefer a Monday, but I'm fine with either one. Okay, let's try and do Tuesday because it is a state holiday. So yeah, Patriots Day. I run the marathon every year. So 
Yeah. <laughs> Sure you do. Yeah, it's not 26 miles, it's 26. <laughs> oh, different marathon. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Jim, I, I won't even mention the marathon that you run. <laughs> anyway, um, again, I need a motion to go into executive session, conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with the town manager and to conduct contract negotiations with the town manager pursuant to general laws. See... 30A, section 21A2. And not to return? And not to return. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All right. So roll call vote. Uh, chairman is in favor, Tim? Yeah. Ken? Yes. <laughs> Jim? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, we're going into executive session uh, and Cable knows that. So um, I want to again, thank Kevin Tachi and his crew for helping us get through this. And it, you think it gets easier, but it, it doesn't, I don't think it does, but anyway, Thanks, we're Kevin. going into executive session, Kevin. So.